In today's video, I will show you how to use Shopify's native integration for GA4. If you already set up GA4 on Shopify using different methods and want to switch to the native integration, then you need to remove any additional codes you previously added to your Shopify store. Let me show you how to do it. First of all, let's go to settings, check out. We need to scroll down and check the order status page. Here I need to make sure to remove the global site tag in my case. But before doing uh, that, the best practice will be to save this code as a backup and then click save. Then we need to go uh, to the theme, press three dots, edit code. Here we need to select theme.liquid file and uh, remove Google tag in my case and I press save. Now we can set up a native a GA4 integration for Shopify. To do that, we need to install Google Channel App. Here I go to Shopify App Store and search for Google Channel App. Let's select the Google Channel App and click Add App. I click Add Sales Channel. And then I need to log in using my Google account uh, that we use to access Google Analytics. We need to authorize Google Channel App to access Google Analytics account. I click Connect Google account, select my account, click Allow. We just use this app to send data to GA4. That's why we don't need to complete other steps. You can see the message right here looking only to set up Google Analytics 4 and that's why we need to click here get started. Now we can select uh, your property and click connect. In my case it will be this one and I click connect. And that's all for setup. Uh, GA4 will be start tracking our data. Besides that I want to mention what things we can track using native integration and what uh, limitations we, we have as well. Here you can see that native GA4 integration for Shopify tracks the following events. Page view, search, view item, add to cart, begin checkout and purchase. And what is missing is view item list. Essentially it is PLP pages, product listing pages. Select item, add to wish list, view card, add shipping info, add payment info is are missing as well. And additional things that you need to consider that uh, you will still see the discrepancy around 10-20% with your actual revenue due to privacy settings and add blockers which can block some data sent to J4. Another thing is that it is not working with post-purchase upsell flows. So if you use upsell apps like uh, Rebuy, Zipify, then purchase triggers doesn't fire until the final thank you pay. This means that the user exits after the completing their main purchase without then accepting or declining an upsell, then the purchase is lost. So this is things that you need to consider. You may ask a question, what if I want to track all the GA4 events like uh, viewing cards, adding shipping and for payment and so on. And also if you don't want to see 10-20% discrepancies in GA4 data versus your Shopify. In this case, I recommend you using third-party apps for Shopify that helps you to track all the e-commerce events from Google Analytics and uh, that are server side and uh, in this case Elevar can be a good option. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about e-commerce analytics. And if you need help with e-commerce analytics then check the links in the description below to book a free call with me.